You know, it's interesting. If you draw a line from Silicon Valley right up through the Bay Area, across San Francisco and to the Golden Gate Bridge, you just about draw a perfect line through some of the most interesting companies developing tomorrow's environmentally friendly car. Take a look at what's on this green mile. In Sausalito, a former Netscape exec owns a restaurant where sustainable seafood is served up front and biodiesel out back. What you're looking at is a simple system of taking your spent uh, vegetable oil, pour it down to this top filtration system, which captures particles, comes out of the bottom, then goes into this holding tank, and then you pump it straight in your truck. Biodiesel is very real as we speak. Hydrogen, on the other hand, is a more distant automotive fuel, unless you're a University of California lab that took us for a hydrogen ride. And along the way, something exploded. The myth that a hydrogen car is a bomb on wheels. What happened is that they wanted a swastika symbol to appear on the blimp, and they wanted the blimp to be white. And one of the only ways to make white paint back then was with a paint formula that was very similar to rocket fuel. And what happened is the, the skin of the blimp caught fire in an electrical storm. And it's really the skin of the blimp that you see burning in the famous footage oh, because yeah, hydrogen burns invisibly. Tesla Motors in San Carlos is about to launch an exclusive and very fast electric roadster. Their founder started the company because he was frustrated he had to be a polluter to enjoy supercar performance. Customers are lining up for the same reason. We have people buying the cars that could afford to drive something like a 911, but actually drive a Prius because they can't deal with the guilt of owning a performance car. But we also have people buying that this is a stretch purchase, but they believe in doing their part. Understand that the servicing costs on something like this are considerably less, they're never buying fuel again, and they like the idea that they're not having an impact on the environment. Now, not everyone is focused on going fast. Some are focused on going farther. At Cal Cars in Palo Alto, they want the world to see what a Prius can do with a few extra batteries and an extension cord. The idea behind a plug-in hybrid is uh, take your local miles, the miles you commute in every day, and fuel them from electricity. Go home at night in your garage, plug it in, regular 120 plug, and the next day you, that little fuel tank is filled up all over again. And while many are betting on electric cars, liquid fuels are still a hotbed of development. Like in Menlo Park, where Live Fuels says they can put something in your tank that starts as algae. Algae got deposited in organic materials, got heated by the Earth's mantle, and now we're tapping it as petroleum. And what we're now trying to do is to stop tapping the old carbon that we sequestered and grow it outside. And it will make vegetable oil, which will float to the surface of the pond, and then you have a spillover tank, and it falls in there, and boom, you keep using present-day carbon. Make it a nice, neutral cycle. I'm Brian Cooley, and I'm going on the road with Mike Canellos of News.com for an occasional series we call The Green Mile. Watch it on CNET TV. For more video like this, Go to CNET.com and click on CNET TV.